growing up in America has been such a blessing. And although in some ways I do stand out, such yes. as, you know, the hijab, the, yes. the head covering, um, there's still so many ways that I feel so embedded in the fabric that is our culture. And here we're all one. I remember Yusur as a little girl when she was in third grade. She had this sense of giving that really makes her different from other children. I still remember in third grade when we asked for something, you used to say, don't put your hand like this. You would have your hand facing downwards as if you're taking something from someone. Oh my God, you yeah. still remember? And then you'd flip your hand over and you'd open your hand upward as you know, a giving gesture. You know, be giving, open, compassionate. Dia, Yusser, and Razan, these kids, their face was so radiant. They would just bring light to the room. And they treat me like their mother. I see you nowadays, and you're always asking, how are you? You know, where are you now in life? And now I'm at NC State University. And got married to one of my other students. Yeah, <laughs> that was um, pretty interesting. <laughs> I was so happy, you know, when I saw you guys together. And you will be together for the rest of your life, inshallah. I just remember Dia when he was growing up. He was getting taller. And because I'm a short person, he would stand behind me and put his hand over my head. And I just told him, Dia, you can never outgrow my heart. Before our time is up, Sister Jabin, I'd just like to thank you. It's been an honor. No, I want to thank you, yes, sir. And the honor is mine. Thank, thank you, you so much. Of course. I would like people to know and remember her as a practicing Muslim, as a daughter, and above all, as a good human being. You know, when we write our comments on report cards, we say they exceeded our expectations. She exceeded our expectations.